The Soviet scientists were especially interested in space medicine. They wanted to know whether a dog could survive in space where there is neither air nor weight, but only uncharted fields of deadly radiation. camera placed on board the rocket. The Soviets shot this actual footage of their dogs in space. The dogs are here experiencing weightlessness, as is shown by the free flight of the loose bolt in the foreground. This bolt is completely weightless. The dogs returned unharmed. Meantime, the Soviet Union was ready to launch its second punch in a row, Sputnik 2. Aboard this new satellite, Laika was to be the Earth's first traveler into space. Here is Laika in his capsule, which will be placed inside the satellite. There were instruments to test his reaction to cosmic rays, radiation, heat, cold, and weightlessness. In these exclusive Soviet films, Sputnik 2 is shown in its pre-launch preparation. The Russian satellite weighed 1120 pounds, 10 times heavier than the first Sputnik. On November 3rd, 1957, commemorating the 40th anniversary of the Russian Revolution, the Earth's second artificial satellite went into orbit. The second Sputnik was not only a tremendous scientific achievement in itself, but in the information received on Laika's long flight into space, the Soviets gained a priceless advantage in any forthcoming race to put a man in space. 